Welcome to day 56 of the Restoration Fitness 90 Day Healthy Habits Challenge. Today we're rounding out our series on anti-rotation and stabiliz stabilization exercises for the core. We've talked about the front plank which works more the front side, the lateral plank which works more the side of your torso or the lateral side, and now we're going to talk more about the back side of your body. Today we're going to go through some horse stance exercises and a form of a bridge or a reverse plank. From this position, we're going to be talking about horse stance activities. So again, we're going to try to keep the pelvis neutral, low back set by pulling in from the belly button, trying to get a nice tight core, again also pulling in through the pelvic floor, everything tied up against your guts, hands underneath or wrists underneath your shoulders. If you have wrist issues, you can put your hands on a couple of dumbbells on the handles. And then from here, we're also going to make sure our knees are underneath the hips. From this position, we're going to start with a horse stance, horizontal, or sorry, vertical lift off the floor. So from this position, we're going to lift up without rotating the hand off the floor. One way to make sure that you're not getting a lot of rotation through your hips and spine is to place a small water bottle on the low back. So you can lift up opposite arm and knee, just barely off the floor and hold that for five to 10 seconds. Again, lifting off opposite arm and leg. From there, you could do same side arm and leg, which would essentially be a little bit more challenging. I'm going to set my toes into the ground and try to lift up both arm and leg. It's very hard. The other option is to go more horizontal. So from this pose, we would take opposite arm and leg off the ground. And again, try to hold here. You could also take it more diagonal, which is going to increase the challenge. Or you can, again, try to go same side arm and leg, which again, you'll see my challenge here. <laughs> Basically. Oops, same arm and leg. Very challenging, but it's worth trying. I'm going to work on it too. The next option is to do a reverse plank. So in this position, we're taking the body straight up. This is actually a great stretch for the shoulders as well, but you want to make sure that you're really setting the shoulders down on your back before you lift. So from here, we're going to hold, and you're going to feel this quite a bit in the glutes, hamstrings, and your shoulders having to do a lot of the work. But your core is working to stay stable here so that you're not, again, arching the back or trying to flex down too far. So body like a board here. The other option is to come from the elbows and do more of a bridge from this position or again with the legs straight. Hope that gives you a couple more options for your core to make sure you have a nice strong back and spine, one and the same. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot.